Moving to the next question, question number 24. The total number of lone pairs of electrons in N2O3 is? Let us draw the structure of N2O3 to find the number of lone pair electron. In N2O3, nitrogen is directly bonded to nitrogen atom. One of the oxygen coordinate bond formation, another oxygen double bond formation. Here this is double bond oxygen atom and nitrogen atom is having a lone pair. This oxygen atom participating in multiple bond formation so it is having two lone pair. Here again two lone pair and since there is a coordinate bond it means this oxygen is having three lone pair electron. Total number of lone pair electrons in this compound is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So answer is 8. This N2O3 is having 8 lone pair electrons in this structure. So moving to the next question, question number 25. Among the triatomic molecules, ions, beryllium chloride, N3 negative, N2O, NO2 positive, O3, SCl2, ICl2 negative, I3 negative and xenon difluoride. The total number of linear molecules where the hybridization of central atom does not have contribution from the d orbital is. Atomic number of few elements are given in the question. In order to solve this question, we need to draw the structure of given species. The first one is beryllium chloride. As we know beryllium chloride, in this compound beryllium atom participates in sp hybridization. And since it is sp hybridized, it means this molecule is linear molecule. The second one is given N3 negative ion. This N3 negative ion is called azide ion. And in this azide ion also, the central nitrogen atom is bonded to two other nitrogen atom where it is sp hybridized and molecular shape is linear shape. The third one is N2O. Oxide of nitrogen, central atom nitrogen bonded to this nitrogen through double bond and through oxygen through a coordinate bond. So here again the central nitrogen atom is sp hybridized and molecular shape is linear. The next one is NO2 positive ion. This is nitronium ion, nitrogen atom bonded to one oxygen atom through double bond, another oxygen atom through coordinate bond. The central atom is sp hybridized and molecular shape is linear. The next one is ozone, a triatomic molecule. Oxygen bonded to another oxygen through double bond, one more oxygen through coordinate bond, a lone pair is present on central atom. So here hybridization is sp2 hybridization and molecular shape will be considered bent. Geometry will be trigonal planar. The next one is SCL2. Central atom is sulfur bonded to two chlorine atom through single bond. It means sulfur atom is having two lone pairs as well. So two bond pair, two lone pair. It means central atom is sp3 hybridized. Geometry is tetrahedral and molecular shape will be considered bent. The next one is ICL2 negative. Here central atom is iodine. This iodine is bonded to two chlorine atom. This is molecular anion. Two bond pair. 
and three lone pair. So central atom which is iodine, it is sp3 dehybridized. Molecular shape is linear. The next species given is I3 negative ion. The central iodine atom bonded to two iodine atom through single bond and this also is having three lone pairs. So two bond pair, three lone pair. The central atom is sp3 dehybridized. Molecular shape is linear. The last species given in the question is xenon difluoride. Central atom is xenon bonded to two fluorine atom through single bond. It means two bond pair and this two is having three lone pair. So central atom is sp3 dehybridized and molecular shape is linear. Now according to this question, we have to find only those species which does not include contribution of d orbital. So this one, this, this, they are not included in the answer. This is bent shape, this is bent shape. We have to find only linear shape. So linear species in which its central atom is sp hybridized, one, two, three and four. It means answer of this question should be four.